Here's a beam cross-section that we want to find the uh, location of the centroid and the moment of inertia about the z-axis which passes through the centroid uh, of the cross-section. The uh, cross-section is made up of two uh, nominal size 2 by 8 boards nailed to two 2 by 4s. So again, the exact dimensions or actual dimensions are shown here on the sketch. Now we're going to use SOLIDWORKS to uh, uh, determine the moment of inertia and the location of the centroid. So I'm going to go to a new part file. You can do this in the drawing uh, environment in SOLIDWORKS, but I think it's a lot easier to do in the part mode. And so I'm going to sketch here on the front plane. And we'll start out by drawing a center line. And there's a lot of ways to do this, but um, what I'm going to try to do is use some symmetry. So I'm going to make the first 2 by 8 member by using a uh, corner rectangle. And now I'm going to select the rectangle I just drew, all four lines of that, and using the control key also get the uh, center line I just drew. And I want to use the Mirror Entities tool to make a mirror image. And so my two 2x8 uh, two members are going to be symmetric about that center line. OK, let's go ahead and put dimensions. Well, we have to put dimensions on one of them because they will stay symmetric. And so 1 and a half is my dimension here. and seven and a quarter. Okay. Now we'll make our first two by four again using the corner rectangle tool. And I want to start right at this corner and drag down until I hit the edge of the other rectangle. And now with the Smart Dimension tool, we'll make this three and a half. And it's hard to select this side, so I'm just going to pick the two uh, top and bottom lines here and add the one and a half dimension between the two of them. And let's go ahead and put the other two by four in here, again with the corner rectangle tool. And Smart Dimension. Again, make this inch and a half. Don't have to add the three and a half because that's already been set. But I do need the distance between the bottom of this one and the top of that one. And that's one inch. OK, so there's all, all of our geometry. But you notice we're still underdefined. And that's because we don't have the position relative to the origin. And that's uh, something we want to do because when we determine the location of the centroid, we need to have a reference for that. So let's uh, draw another center line across the bottom here from this corner over to that corner. And now select the center line we just drew and with the control key select the origin and add a midpoint relation. And so that centers um, well, we already have it centered from, from right to left, but now it puts the origin at the bottom of the cross section. Now, if you have a simple uh, section that only has a single uh, closed region, then you can go right to Tools and Section Properties and determine things right off of that. But because of the fact we have more than one uh, closed section, we can't really do that. Uh, there's a couple of things we could do. We could trim away all the overlapping sections, but I don't like to do that because you lose some of your relations when you do that. An easier way to do it is simply to extrude this into a solid. And I don't really care how far we extrude it. I think we'll just we'll stick with the uh, default of a tenth of an inch. Because we have more than one region or contour, we have to select the ones that we want to be extruded, which of course is all of them and hit the check mark. Okay, now we can pick this face and go to tools and section properties. And so this will not only show us uh, the location of the centroid here, go to the front view, but it gives me the coordinates of that x, y, and z, and of course uh, 
in the x direction it is zero because we did center it and it's 4.15 inches up from the uh, from the bottom if we need more decimal places you can always change that here so again not exactly 4.15 4.154 and here is the moment of inertia about the local x-axis here of about 132.35 0.34 uh, inches to the fourth.